Ha! Ow! Bible thumping. Welcome to the Wave Vlog. If you've joined us... <laughs> I didn't give me time to process. Process what? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I didn't wear any green today. Don't pinch me. Welcome to the Wave Vlog. If you're joining us in person or online, we want to say thank you. Last week, we started a new message series titled Family Reunion. Now that we are have transitioned into a new state of normal, we need to ask ourselves these questions. Where do we go from here and what do we do now? Today, the problem that I want to talk about is sometimes you and I can have this tendency and this idea that we want to put off our relationship with God and focus on ourselves. Have you ever heard someone say that before? It like makes me cringy. I just need to focus on me right now. I just want to focus on my needs and what I need. And like, it makes me it just, it's not good. Right. And when we tend to only think about ourselves, we only focus on our problems. Yeah. And so as we read in scripture today, we're in the book of Haggai chapter one, verses five and six. There's something that we can glean from that. Let's, let's turn there together. It says, Verse five. Now this, what the Lord, now this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much, but have harvested little. You eat, but never have enough. You drink, but never have your fill. You put on clothes, but are not, are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in your purse with holes in it. Before we, Pastor Alex breaks that down, let's pray to start our day. Jesus, we love you. We're so thankful. God, I pray that you would bring to life the word of God in our lives right now. Your name. Amen. Pastor Alex, break it down. Uh, this verse takes place during a time period and uh, the history of a nation called Israel. Mm -hmm. um, and this this time period is called the remnant kingdom. That's a crazy word, right? Remnant kingdom. Remnant. Whew. I can't say reunion, but I can say remnant. What the <laughs> heck? Remnant kingdom. Mm -hmm. This is 70 plus years. 70. Uh, sorry, 70 plus years prior to the scripture, actually. There was this big event that occurred where another nation called Babylon came in and wiped out a city called Jerusalem and wiped out all of the Israelites. And th at that point, they went into exile. Okay. And so they were taken away from the, the from the, the land of Israel. They were taken away from God. They were taken away from all these things. And they were even their temple was destroyed. And what you have to understand about the temple is that's where you meet God. Yeah. In that time period, that was the only place you could meet God. And so the, the temple being destroyed, the people are in turmoil. They're like, what did we do? And the reason why all this was happening was that they had not been listening to God. They had been kept putting off their relationship with God. In fact, they even got to a point where they started bringing in idols into the temple itself. Mm -hmm. And so they were worshiping God and worshiping these other fake gods mm -hmm. right next to <laughs> the, the altars of God. Cool story, bro. Good job. It's crazy. <laughs> like, what the heck? And these guys are like, why did this happen to us? They're like, well, no, duh, ha why it happened to you, right? So they were in exile for about 70 Typical years, people. but there was a small group of people called the remnant that stayed faithful to God even during the 70 years. Dude, that sounds sick, the remnant. The remnant. Come on. And so this remnant of people actually uh, came, when, when it finally came time during the Persian kingdom, during the Persian empire, the, the king sent the Jews back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. Hmm to rebuild the city. And so these Jews were so excited, this remnant kingdom was so excited to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the city. And they were their first order of business was to rebuild the temple. And as they began to rebuild the temple, they got to the point of building the foundation. They were so pumped. They're like, man, this is awesome. Maybe sometimes how we, you and I feel when we first come to a relationship with God, right? Um, we get on fire, we're so pumped. Yeah. <laughs> we lay the foundation and then we're like, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah. And and then we kind of just get off track and we're like, you know what? I want to, I, I kind of want to work on these other things over here. Mm -hmm. and that's exactly what happened with the remnant kingdom. That's exactly what happened with these people. They begin to get distracted. You know what? People even begin to uh, begin to attack them, begin to ridicule them, begin to get on them about, oh, you're not going to rebuild that temple. Like they started mm -hmm. getting on these people. So then they're like, yeah, you know what? I want, we're going to go over here. And so they began to build their own houses, focus on their own families, focus on their own businesses. And so these people were doing all these things that were for themselves. And then, you know what? It got to this point where they started to realize, uh, why is nothing working? Mm -hmm. why, I, I work hard 
I never have enough money. Mm. I, 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 tr- I get food, but I'm, I can never have enough food. Mm. I'm, I never, I'm, all my clothes keep, seem to be going away all the time. I mm. never have enough friends. I never have enough this, that. Maybe you can relate. Why is nothing going right? I'm trying so hard and I don't get it. Mm. And you know what? A guy named Haggai, which is the author of, our, of the book that we, uh, that we are reading today. Came in, came in and said, hey, you guys all uh, feel like nothing's working? <laughs> hey, you, you guys feel like uh, you guys, uh, like everything's falling apart? He's like, I got oh, an answer. Oh, he has an answer. He's like, I got an answer for you. Rebuild the temple. Mm. You came here to rebuild the temple? Yeah. So do it. Mm. And he was just straightforward with them. And everybody's like, wow, that's, that's, what, that's amazing. We should do that. Whoa. It was like. Yeah, they should do that. Duh. <laughs> and so they go and they begin to rebuild the temple. What, Haggai? Right? And they go and they rebuild the temple, and life actually begins to flourish for them mm-hmm. because they put God first and they begin to honor God first. Now, some of us may be asking, well, what, is it, what does the temple of God have to do with me? Second Corinthians, or, sorry, 1 Corinthians 3.16 says this, Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple, and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? When Jesus came... He changed everything. No longer do we have to have a physical temple that we went to, but rather we had to. We were now the temple of God. Yeah. So wherever we were at, we could meet with God. Yeah. But you know what that means? That means now we have to build the temple, build our spiritual life. And you know where that happens? That happens in community. Mm-hmm. That happens as you grow together to become closer to God. So maybe today you are feeling like, I don't know why life's not going well. Maybe you can relate to these people and ask yourself, Am I actually rebuilding the spiritual life or have I just been so focused on my own mm-hmm. personal wants? True. True. Where are you at today? Man, that's so good, Pastor Alex. And as I was sitting and I was thinking about it, uh, some of us have gotten off track this last year. We've been focused too much on us and not about God. And we need to do our own rebuilding process. Uh, anything that's worth being built takes time. <laughs> anything that's worth building takes a lot of time. Uh, if you were to build a house from the ground up, it doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a few hours. It takes a significant amount of time, a significant amount of work, and there's a lot of things that come together with that. And instead of asking this question, God, why is this happening to me? Maybe we need to start to ask the question that's like, God, what do I need to rebuild? Yeah. God, where do I need to go? God, what do you need to show me? And God, where are the areas that I have I have left? I have left this building process where I need to pick it back up. God, where are the friends and people in my life that I need to build this community with so I can come back and build my temple, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit? How do I build that back with you together to, to press on? And as I, we come back together as a family, as we come back together in this place, we're building each other up. We're building each other, each other together to what God has in store for us. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you. You're powerful, God, as we break into our small groups. And for those who are online, God, I pray that you would touch their hearts. God, I pray that you would be with them, that you would strengthen them, God. And God, I pray that you would be the one that would rebuild us to what we need to be. God, I pray that those of us who have maybe taken a break or walked away, God, I pray that we can come back to the knowledge of who you are in this moment, and that we can build back better and build back exactly the temple that needs to be built. In your name we pray. Amen.